We're starting a brand new overhaul of the storage review lab in the JSON office, wireless network, everything else around that to support all the end user devices in our ecosystem. And part of that is a massive equipment upgrade from Netgear. You can see all these uh, Wi-Fi 7 access points here and we'll get into those a little bit more. But what Netgear's got that's really interesting that not enough people know about is what they call the Total Network Solution. TNS for short. The Total Network Solution is a consultative service that Netgear provides for free, might I add, to analyze the physical structure of the building and then what sort of devices, access points, switches, routers you need to support that, your user count, your device count, and all of that. Not every business has IT admins that understand how an access point might play based on the makeup, the physical makeup of the facade of their building or the walls or what's between the, uh, the multiple levels. The Netgear guys have got this all figured out. And we worked with a great SE, senior SE, I suppose, Keith, to help us sort all this out. So what we did, it was really, really simple. We took our literal blueprint of the building Kevin held it down with a, uh, a structural wrench and gave them photographs of our upstairs and downstairs. So this facility is about 4,100 square feet, half up, half down, the main lab upstairs with several offices and a conference room, and then downstairs, two smaller labs, break room, restrooms, conference rooms, all that sort of thing. All we did was send them a picture, two pictures, one up, one down, and told them kind of where some of the hot spots were that we wanted to make sure to cover, like the conference room, like the bathrooms, where most of the computing gets done around here. So once Keith had Kevin's two photos, he went to work and laid this all out. And we get this PDF report back in like one day. This is, this is unbelievable. And what's really cool about it is he digitized our blueprint, put it together in this report, and then you can see where he mapped out access points. So this is the downstairs where we've got our break room, several offices, and two small labs. And he shows us three access points here for, for coverage. But this is much more than just dropping in access points in the, in the corners and hoping for the best. As we scroll through this report, there's a comprehensive heat map that shows up. And it's not just for one frequency. This is what, this is the 2.4. We can scroll through this and look at the five gigahertz. We can look at the uh, lower level six gigahertz band and really understand, will my employees, will my customers, will anyone in this facility, will my devices, whether it's a laptop or a wireless camera in the corner over here, be able to get access? Another important consideration when we think about how these access points are laid out is you've got the option as you, as you architect for Wi-Fi to use a couple access points that might be more powerful to cover your, your floor area. But with these, it's a little bit more strategic. And what's interesting is that as we look at, uh, let me show you this report for the six gigahertz band. This shows us also what we can expect in terms of performance. This is showing uh, 990 megabytes a second, which highlights the importance of getting 10 gig in these Wi-Fi 7 access points. And with more access points, it allows for our devices to float more fluidly throughout our environment without uh, losing connection as they get handed off between the access points. And the way we've got this set up, we're not gonna blitz the neighbors with our Wi-Fi access points either. It's a really nice and controlled environment. Again, this is something that we got within one day of sending over our uh, photograph of the blueprint. Now we're kind of lucky to have the photo of the blueprint. A lot of businesses don't have that. I talked to Keith and I said, okay, so what's the worst you've ever seen? Pretty sadly, he said someone sent in a hand-drawn picture of the, uh, the layout of their office and, and might have been on a napkin, I'm not sure. I threatened to send in a napkin and he would have happily taken it, but I think the uh, picture of the blueprint is, uh, is pretty darn good and made him happy. He didn't have to do a lot of manual work to set up the, the building and his application. But it's really simple in terms of what you have to provide Netgear as part of the total network solution. Two photos is all it took. A day later, we get a report. And now what we've got is a build of materials list that includes the access points that you see here and a uh, PoE++ switch to deliver power to these things uh, in our environment. In the report too, though, it says, hey, look, this is what you need to support what you're doing right now. If you think you might need to scale up, if you're gonna take the neighbor space, for instance, in six or 12 months, and you might need a couple more APs over there, 
then maybe the next step up in the PoE++ switch would be a sensible thing to do. So it's a little bit of a look into what you're doing now. Also though, considering what you might be doing in the future to uh, make sure that your access points and your network scales with your growth. Now in terms of delivery, this is typically where your channel partner or VAR would come in to handle the order of the devices. Netgear sent those to us directly since we don't have a VAR in this case and uh, they're, they're plopped off on our, our desk. Importantly though, this is where we bring in another partner into this project and that is True Cable. We had existing cabling in the lab already and through the ceiling and everything else, but as part of the refresh for this, we wanted to make sure that our cabling was up to snuff too. So we've got two spools of CAT6, we've got the blue one which is going to run to our APs and the red one which is going to run to all of our security cameras. And we've got Dylan the intern working on that right now, which is uh, an important project in itself. But so far we've done a couple runs with these cable boxes, everything's working great. They sent us a crimper, wonderful tools. Uh, so if you're considering cable, we like True Cable. They sent us these products for use in this build, uh, but it's a, it's a fundamental part because you can hang access points all day long, but if they don't have the, the multi-gig or 10-gig in our case connection back to the switch, you're not going to go very far. With all the pieces in place now, we're going to, uh, or I'm going to task Kevin and, and uh, Dylan with, with putting these things to work. Before we do that, I'll take one out here though, just to show you what we're dealing with on these APs. The access points themselves are relatively small. You can see they're square and white in this case with a little bit of Netgear branding on them. Underneath, they've got the ethernet port for the multi-gig and 10 gig. We're gonna power ours with the uh, PoE++ switch, which is nice with just the one ethernet connection. There is a wall plug though, if you don't have PoE and need extra power for these uh, Wi-Fi 7 access points. They're pretty beefy. Netgear provides all the mounting stuff for these. So it should be relatively easy to install once we've got our cable runs done. Kevin and Dylan are going to follow the map that uh, Netgear has provided in the PDF mount the six access points, and then we're gonna get them into Netgear Insight. This is another really critical part of what the Total Network Solution offers in conjunction with Netgear's application. Insight lets us manage all of these devices in one pane of glass. We'll be able to do things like firmware updates, check performance, all that sort of thing. But it's also really important for anyone that's in the channel or any IT admin who's administering multiple sites across their, their estate. This will let you see our office, for instance, if we had a VAR managing it from a third party location and keep track of the network to make sure it's healthy and make sure it's performing properly. We're gonna dive into all of that in just a second, but first, let's get these things on the ceiling. So we're finished our installation of these uh, new Netgear Wi-Fi 7 access points, and uh, they've included some pretty handy uh, ceiling mounts. In our case, we're leveraging the uh, drop ceiling mount. Dill, what do you think of this, uh, these for setup? Overall, these are pretty easy to use. There's two options for the T-bar mount. This mount comes in two pieces, and you pick the T-bar mount that you're gonna use, clip it up onto the bar, and then uh, twist on your AP mount, put in the uh, set screws, and then from there, let me just plug in our AP. Go and hook on the edges, push it up, and then click in the cover. Awesome. So overall, these are a really easy setup and we're excited to get some Wi-Fi 7 performance in our lab. So as Brian mentioned, we had to deploy our six access points. We got all the wiring uh, strung, we got the uh, access points uh, mounted up on the ceiling, and then I went on vacation for two weeks, which was fantastic. And through there, everything's been working great in our environment. Uh, we had our uh, six access points, we have a number of uh, SSIDs uh, loaded onto them. But, uh, it spans a few VLANs. We also have a uh, tenant in our building, and we also have a legacy environment set up for older uh, 2.4 gigahertz equipment. And what's pretty cool is I was able to uh, not get any complaints. I didn't have my phone on for most of the time, but I didn't hear any complaints. And I only had two devices that wouldn't connect. It turned out to be two uh, thermostats that were a little bit finicky, and I was able to leverage my phone out in Italy and just go in and adjust the profile for the uh, wireless environment and kind of get running from there. But the uh, Netgear Insight environment gives you a really nice single pane of glass to connect to any of your devices and go through and manage things in a way without having to log into each device separately. While our office environment is uh, only managing six access points and a uh, Netgear switch, 
Netgear Insight at its core is great for businesses looking to manage hundreds or thousands of devices across multiple different locations that can be spread across town or different states or countries. Uh, and from there, you can manage firmware, you can manage networks, you can pretty much do everything you would do if you had local access, but this brings it into a single pane of glass. Now, as we roll through, we get to uh, see the topology of our environment. In this area, we see our, uh, uh, it starts off as our ISP, although this is our existing environment. It hits our eight port uh, PoE switch, branches off uh, across the six access points, and then shows a few of the devices that we have still operating in our office on a Friday afternoon. The wireless view gives you a nice glimpse at the client's bandwidth, uh, connected devices per an SSID, as well as data consumption across different access points. In here, we can kind of track which are the hotspots in our environment, uh, and also uh, maybe devices that are using a little too much bandwidth, or maybe even not enough. Say your thermostat's drawing gigabytes of data one day, it's probably been hacked but you can get that information from this uh, panel. What's really cool is over the past number of weeks with the Total Network Solution Deployment Guide that we've followed, we haven't had any problems. We've had fantastic connectivity. We've actually had really strong performance. We moved from an environment that had pretty good connectivity, although we had some dead zones in our environment where you'd be on a call going down a hallway, going downstairs, and depending on where the uh, handoff happened, you might get a couple of seconds of uh, silence on your call. Right now, there's none of that. We actually have fantastic coverage anywhere you go in our environment, including probably 100 feet out into our parking lot. It's pretty solid. For day one to uh, month one or year one activity, you can also handle updates and uh, maintenance pretty easily. We've already gone through one firmware update on all of our access points. And when something shows up, you get the available updates, what uh, devices it applies to, and you just click go. It just handles it on its own and it'll roll that out across the available devices. And what's really cool is you don't have to be on site for that. While it might be beneficial to know that everything is gonna work smoothly, I could have kicked that off from Italy and it wouldn't matter for me, I'm not at the office. Netgear Insight gives you a really nice platform that you can view from a computer or a phone, uh, no matter where you are, if you're local or if you're out and about in, on a uh, vacation finally, but you can handle all these different activities no matter where your different deployments are, which ties into a really nice environment. Uh, for all of your uh, maintenance and uh, monitoring needs. Last time we were in the lab, we had cables dangling from the ceiling, and now we've got at least one of the Netgear access points. Wi-Fi 7 in here has been exquisite in our 4,100 square foot or so building. The placement that we got from the uh, TNS engineers was dead on from what we can tell. No complaints from anyone in the building, no drop calls, no interference, no lack of connectivity anywhere. Uh, which has been really great. We gave Netgear's Total Network Solutions guys our literal blueprints to the office and they gave us a blueprint for Wi-Fi coverage that far exceeded our expectation. Throw in Netgear Insight for remote management and all the benefits that provides as Kevin was articulating. Kevin was on a bike in Italy and able to fix the only issue we had which was our thermostats not connecting and working properly on the new network. So if you can do that from Italy on a bike seat that's pretty darn good. Insight enables that. The entire Netgear Total Network solution is really pretty amazing. And uh, we've got a detailed paper on that. We'll link to that in the description, give you a link to Netgear's page. It's a free solution. Check it out if you want the best possible solution and the easiest deployment for Wi-Fi 7 and beyond in your environment.